They talked about the ministry of Jesus as if it was a fairy tale and not the gospel right. truth. They wanted to doubt uh, Asbury. They wanted to speculate and pontificate the validity of every miracle, every sermon, every lesson, and yes, even the resurrection. This reminds us, people of God, that no matter what you try to do in this life, uh, some folks still won't be satisfied. See, the nails in his hands were not enough. The crown of thorns were not enough. Some folks have to see you show up uh, after you experience your trauma before they start believing anything God did for you. Uh -huh. They really thought the bankruptcy uh, would have put you in. Uh, they didn't know uh, you could survive after your divorce. Uh, they truly believed uh, going to jail uh, was supposed to make you an outcast. Uh, you, were supposed, you were not supposed to bounce back from that. Uh, see, failing the class uh, was meant to hurt your intellectual self-esteem. Uh, but guess what, children of God? Uh, just by showing up today, uh, my presence in this church uh, is declaring uh, greater is he uh, that's within me uh, than he that is in the world. Uh, my past does not define me, uh, and God is still working on me. Uh, so I'm testifying uh, I can do all things uh, through Christ uh, who strengthens me. Uh, because of Jesus, uh, I told you I let my past go. Uh, and it's time for you to do the same uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, look at me now. Uh, don't judge me on yesterday. Uh, look what God is doing. God is doing right now. Uh, see, I'm just going to show up. Uh, I ain't got to say nothing. Uh, I'm going to sit in the back uh, and let y'all keep talking. Uh, but just Look and see uh, what God is doing uh, in me uh, right now. That's exactly what Jesus did in verse 16. When the two men were talking about him, watch this, y'all. Jesus actually showed up so they could talk to him. Mm. Tell your neighbor, talk to me, talk to him. I'm irritated, though, Sister Pika, because these two men were so focused on their unproductive conversation, they missed Jesus showing up right in front of them. Mm. Right Beloved, we got to make sure this morning we're paying attention so we can receive Jesus for ourselves. The question is on this Resurrection Sunday morning, what took your focus away from Jesus? See, if we are honest this morning, by the time Jesus shows up in our lives, uh, we've been so sidetracked, uh, we've been so busy with irrelevant stuff uh, that we don't even recognize Jesus uh, when he shows up for us. Uh, see, folk in here today, uh, right now, uh, under the sound of my voice, uh, are thinking to themselves, uh, how much longer uh, before church is over? Uh, see, you thinking right now, uh, how long it's going to take for you uh, to get home uh, and finish your ham, uh, finish your pot roast uh, or your lamb chops. Uh, you trying to figure out how long it's going to take you uh, to put that macaroni and cheese in the oven uh, and get the warm rolls ready. Uh, see, understand, that's a problem right there. Uh, your focus uh, should be on Jesus uh, and not your kitchen. Uh, see, all I'm saying uh, is that we are drawn uh, to the flashy. Uh, we are drawn uh, to the immediate uh, and we ignore Jesus. Uh, I'll soon come and king. Uh, remember Isaiah 53 2 says uh, he has no form uh, nor comeliness uh, and when we shall see him uh, there is no beauty uh, that we should desire him. Uh, I don't care what has your attention right now beloved. Uh, don't get so busy uh, that you miss uh, Jesus. Uh, don't miss your blessing uh, because you dismissed the package it came in. Uh, don't miss the answer to your prayers uh, because you were facing in the wrong direction. Uh, don't you dare miss your deliverance uh, because you were wrapped up in people uh, who didn't even care about you to begin with. Uh, understand this morning, uh, you prayed and cried, uh, pushed and sacrificed uh, for far too long uh, to miss what God uh, has for you. Uh, you've been too consistent. Uh, you cried too many tears. Uh, you gave up too much consistent praise and worship uh, to miss what my for you uh, in this season uh, of your life. Uh, you've been faithful uh, over a few things uh, and you need God to bless you uh, right now. Uh, in this season, beloved, uh, don't you miss uh, 